the Pharaoh show in English. I already did it in French and in German. It was a big success here in Europe. And uh, thousands of people saw it and were quite ent enthusiastic. It gave a lot of answers. And um, yeah, so the Pharaoh show, I <clears throat> so I do it now in English especially for the Americans so they can uh, see here the proofs what's happening I mean uh, it's about the Pharaohs and it's about the enemy within this is the um, this is the sign of the Templars you can see it in any tank in America the American tanks like in Iraq even the uh, the Israelis they have it upside down and behind it is the uh, the Templar's cross and actually the Templar's cross if you take a pyramid which is three-dimensional and if you fold it out you get the Templar's cross so where are the Templars where do they come from you know? here is an obelisk the castle here is a uh, is a Templar's castle and later on I'll show you even skull and bones uh, in the uh, in the chapel the Templar's chapel which has a typically Templar's form <laughs> excuse me so there's an obelisk the three the four balls but underneath it are the four elements fire earth air and water uh, the obelisk is the symbol of the pharaonic domination. It's also a phallic symbol, and as it is carved on top, well, you can't see here, but I, you know, we'll have a closer look. If it's usually it's carved on top, that's a symbol of the circumcision because the circumcision uh, it's coming from the pharaohs, the uh, the Hebrew people, the Arabs, the Muslims, the Americans. Ninety-seven percent of the Americans are being circumcised since uh, um, 1967 and it, it's all from the pharaohs yeah so this is the uh, Templars castle in August the uh, Freemasons they come here all dressed up you know in the pharaonic stuff and you know the skirt they're having and um, of course of the um, out of the Templars came the uh, Freemasons and here we can see it because where did the, uh, the, the, the Templar's treasure, where did it go to? Of course it went to Switzerland. And with it they founded the Swiss banks and the banksters. You see? And I can prove it. Here it is again, the Templar's uh, sign. And this thing here is called the joining. It's Freemasonry. You know, like it keeps together. And this thing, the whole thing is called the Grail. That means our blood is here, we are here, our descendants are here. See? So, um, actually, the last crusade was in, um, in 1291, and the last stronghold of the Templars was Aachen. It lies in the north of Israel now, and Aachen fell on May 18th, 1291. Only two and a half months later, the time to get back at this time, in those days, on horseback, they founded uh, Switzerland on the 1st of August, 1291. And uh, this is why the, 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 um, the uh, Swiss cross is a simplified uh, Templar's cross, actually. The obelisk sort of has a, um, has a ball on it. That means the world domination. Uh, this is, I think it's a grain even, and the grain means our descendants are here, our grains are here, our, our seed is here. And if it's a ball on top of it, it means we rule the world. It's a symbol of the world domination. And the obelisk stands for the god Osiris, and the water for the goddess Isis. So the entrance at, of the castle here, so we can see the symbol here. There's even a small Templar's cross. You see, it's a, f it's a fold-out pyramid. 
and it's the W, you know, like W, 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 you see, it's a fold out pyramid, see, so it is of the, uh, of the pharaohs. Ages, all, all through the centuries, they had the uh, prime noctes, that means the first right. That meant, especially in Switzerland, that meant the, uh, the lord of the castle and all the uh, nobility here and, and the knights, well, they had the first right, you know. When, they, uh, when a couple of the, uh, of the local peasants, when they got married, the first night, they had to come and sleep and spend the night with the, uh, with the local lord here. And this is how, they, um, how the pharaonic seed uh, got spread. You know? And this makes Switzerland typically Swiss. You know? And your face is smiling at you. And when you turn around, they say, well, go and have a step in the gas, gas chamber, like, see? Sort of the names of the lords here. Von Stratlingen, Bubenberg. Well, we know this symbol here. And we know that one now. There, yeah, yeah. So and the date perfectly fits as well, 1338, you know, 1291. Here we just came through the gate, and there it is again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's all WW. Yeah. And here it is again, the temp the sign of the Templars there. Being seen on every tank and helicopter like in Afghanistan and Iraq. Yeah. So it's still the same who are ruling. And they actually they're ruling America. This is the uh, the Templars chapel. We can see the round form here at the other side, which is typically a Templar's chapel. And here's the, um, this is the castle here. Yeah, this is the castle. So this is in Spiez. It's not very far from Bern. It's in the canton of Bern. You see the face in here? Now what does that mean? What does that mean? It means they're watching you. Big Brother is watching you, you know. And it was so important, these, uh, the Templar symbol. You know, you find it everywhere. There it is again. So small. On an armor's plate. Yeah. You know, so important. All secret symbols. It means we are here. The pharaohs are here. Uh, and it's also a, a Freemason symbol, you know, the triangle. Well, as I said, the Freemasons, they come from, of the Templars. Hey, here. Yeah. There he is. You know, just came back from Jerusalem, 1291. The Last Crusade. So here on top, this is the old tower. You can see that. There it is again. The Templar symbol. It's all over. Oh, let's go and have a look in the in the chapel then. There it is. This is the entrance of the chapel here. I hope it's open. It should be. So it was open. Very nice. You can see the typical typical round form of the Templar chapels. Uh, you know. And behind here, they got a secret compartment where you can see skull and bones, Freemasons. And the Freemasons, they come in here in August when they celebrate the birthday of Isis and Osiris and Seth. Seth. Yeah. So, there it is again. And this is the secret compartment here. I will get up my flashlight and uh, we can have a look. And which is important here, if you look back here, we can see the all seeing eye here looking in your back, you know, piercing in your back with the sun rays, like on the dollar. 
and a triangle, the Freemasonry triangle. You see? So who's ruling here? Yeah. And here too. There it is again, there as well. And um, yeah, probably the same names here. Von Grafenried. And yeah, it's all Latin here. So, well, shall we go and have a look in the uh, secret compartment here? Yeah? Here they let children disappear. You know, they do very bad things here. Yeah. We are. Let's see. Skull and bones. There it is. Freemasons. You know. There it is. And the Templar symbol. Uh, and there it is again, the Templar, Templar symbol here on the, on the floor. It's hard to say like that. And here they have a secret door here. Of course this is locked, this is closed. And uh, there it is again, the Templar symbol there. And the joining on top here, it's a joining. And here they have the secret compartments here. Uh, here they do sacrifices of children. And the Swiss, they have a very long tradition of sacrificing children. This is how actually they make Swiss, you know. And uh, they even, the, the Swiss, they even had uh, children slaves until 1989. They call them for Dinkinder. They had to, uh, they were slaves. That even their own children, and they uh, they were beaten to death. They were starved to death. They were sterilized. Even it's it's unbelievable, you know. Well, we know the media they lie, you know, and tell lie. Vision lies as well, and um, so they lie about Switzerland, you know, this clean country. But this clean country. You know, finance every war. And they still attract very rich people, you know, like from all over the world. So they don't pay any more taxes at home, but taxes have to be paid. So it's all going to be paid, you know, by the poor people. It's coming on the back of the, uh, as, as a burden on, on, the, on the poor people's back. And uh, so this is how poor people get poorer and rich is getting richer. Because the rich, the rich never paid any taxes, you see, and stuff there, so. thing as well, it says I-H-S, with the Templar symbols. I is for Isis, H is for Horus, and S is for Seth. Yeah. That was the entrance there, and here's another one of the chapel, the Templar's chapel in Spitz. Here we can see the typ typical round form from the outside of a Templar's chapel. Yeah, see? Oh, look at it, clean Switzerland. How are they so clean, you know? They are so clean. Yeah. Look at it, clean Switzerland. Oh man, so clean. And they're in key position all over. Joseph Dice, he's the uh, the president of the uh, United Nations now, in New York. And um, we had Carla Del Ponte in The Hague. We had uh, uh, Dick Marty, he's uh, uh, for the United Nations um, against torture. You know, like he should do something against Guantanamo, but he doesn't. We had uh, Lucius Wildhaber, he was the, the, uh, the director in Strasbourg, in Europe, of the Human Rights Commissions. These people are so powerful, these Templars. They got their people all over on key positions. And they're not going to do anything instead of saying, you know, otherwise than saying, well, Switzerland is so clean. Look at this, the Swiss, the Templars flag. Oh, I can't see it. 
a little bit of wind please yeah come on no, nothing so as well most of the ships you know they brought the slaves to, to the Americas they were they were even owned by the Swiss and then we talk about Swiss and you know in Switzerland we know we have to say Templars now and Freemasons because this is where it started that's why this country was in no war at all and they say the Swiss say oh we are so clean you know we had to def defend ourselves you know against these horrible Europeans the French and the Germans you know but they lie it's the other way around the Swiss terrorized France completely you know and uh, just before the uh, the French Revolution at La Bastille there was a French there were Swiss mercenaries who terrorized the whole of Europe and uh, they were torturing and uh, keeping prison imprisoned uh, French um, uh, citoyens citizens and which was worse worse actually there was the 30 year old war the 30 year war that was the worst war in uh, in Europe and um, more than a hundred thousand Swiss mercenaries they murdered more than a million Germans and because the Swiss you know they had to everybody was a peasant at those days was a peasant at those days so the uh, Swiss mercenaries they had to come back like around the 1st of August you know to help because the, around the 1st of August uh, roughly the uh, uh, the harvest started and then they came back loaded with uh, looting uh, goods you know from all over all over Europe and uh, then they shot ones in the air with their muskets you know uh, they had their horses and, and donkeys loaded and mules and they shot ones in the air with the, uh, their muskets Kadung. And then the Swiss came pouring down the mountains and, you know, from the forest and the fields where they were working. And then they celebrated the murder of the Europeans and their children, which they still do until today's day. On the 1st of August, which is a national holiday, where they celebrate you know, the Swiss mercenaries coming back. And this is why the Swiss man still has his assault rifle, you know, a, a, like an M16 like, or a Kalashnikov, in his house, in the cupboard, under his bed completely legal every man has it here and um, th this this is a typical mercenary tradition you know and um, so after the Oktoberfest festivities the Swiss mercenaries you know they um, they went back uh, he, he, he um, terrorizing Europe terrorizing Europe and uh, after the 1st of August um, he cleaned his rifle and put some uh, some pigs grease on it and then he put it in the cupboard until after the October festivities and then they went back and um, terrorizing the Europeans so from the 1st of August up until um, the end of October was a time of, uh, of, of peace for the Europeans you know because these Swiss mercenaries were not there that's why we still have the Pope's guard you know these uh, they are the Swiss mercenaries that's what left of it uh, there's still about 500. Now we are in Thun from speeds we're going direction uh, Bern. Uh, this river is the Aare and um, here we see one of the most secretive si symbols it's the Sun hieroglyphics. If you see this here it means we are living here you can knock on the door if you also have pharaonic offspring and we'll organize to uh, to kill him the um, to finish them off the Europeans and their children in secret societies like now we've got our uh, internet and cell phones and all that right? in the Middle Ages we didn't they didn't have it and as they are so mixed they've got problems to recognize each other so um, they have these symbols so they could recognize each other and like organize here we got on top here is the Freemasonry triangle and other secret symbols. So this house is really full of it. The house next to it 
there. Again, the sun hieroglyphics in a slightly different form. But it is here. <laughs> if we look at the other side here, what do we see here? Two obelisks. So what are the, these pharaonic symbols doing here? They apparently, I, they apparently have 33 stones. And the one on top is called the keystone. You know, like in all the magazines, all the pictures being done, like the photographs is keystone. Uh, they, are, they are true Freemasons, of course. So, what is it doing here? So, it said in the Bible, the Pharaoh and its army disappeared in the sea. But that means they disappeared in the sea of people. They are within us. The enemy within can't be recognized anymore. George Bush, Tony Blair, the whole bloody lot. Uh, and this is why the um, Freemasons, they got the secret letter, the G. Well, it's not that secret anymore. You know, and uh, they have a ring with the G and, you know, and within the, their symbol they got the G. They say it's from God or Le Grand Orient. You know, the big Mason Lodge. It is not true. It's from the Hebrew word Gola or Golut, which means diaspora. It means they came over the, all over the world. And um, so many peoples had a diaspora. You know, the Kurdic people, the Armenians, the uh, Albanians, and also the uh, pharaohs did. Pharaohs finally. Switzerland was the biggest base in Europe with which they conquered Europe. That's why they speak four languages here. So the French speaking Swiss, they can um, do their things like in France and the German speaking ones like in Germany and the Italians of course to the south. So they can go all directions and Switzerland is very central. All the water, like all the water of Central Europe is coming from here. And um, then they finally um, founded America. Well, first of all, they say America is uh, from Americo Vespucci, the guy after Columbus uh, founded uh, the Americas or discovered the Americas. You don't call a country North Street after one's fir first name. So it should be the United States of Vespucci, logically, honestly. But I tell you what it means. Every syllable, I'm a historian, and I translated the word America. Every syllable in the word America has a very important pharaonic or Freemasonry uh, meaning. A ah means big or pregnant. When a woman is pregnant, she's quite big. Me, mer or meru is the word for pyramid. Ri, it's the word for the sun, like the sun god, Re or Ra. And Ka is the soul when we live. When we die, they call it Ba. That's why the Arabs have the Ka Ba, the big stone in Mecca where they turn around like. And if you put Allah behind Kaaba, you get Kabbalah, the Kabbal. So this is not a coincidence. And if you read America from right to left, it means the reincarnation of the big pyramid will take place where our souls will live. And look at the dollar, there she is, you know, the uh, reincarnation of the big pyramid. And look at what the Americans are doing. Conquered the new world, they called everything with car. This is there where our souls will live. America, Chicago, California, Canada, Alaska. North Carolina, South Carolina, Kansas, Jamaica. In Europe, we already had Africa. Re a lot of sun in Africa. Um, Stan, um, Corsica, uh, the Canary Islands, uh, Cameroon. They're ruling all over the world. And they've got all key positions. 
And where they have key positions or rule like in a city, they dress up these things here like this here. Like in New York and like in Washington, excuse me. In every American movie, they show the big obelisk in Washington. That means we're ruling the world. We're indoctrinating your youth. Otherwise, we wouldn't have enough soldiers like doing this um, uh, killing people like in Iraq and Libya now and, and Vietnam and all, the whole bloody thing, you know. And um, so like what they do in Hollywood, they indoctrinate, indoctrinate our children and they um, uh, show it. It's so great to put a 9 mil in somebody's forehead. You know, with some nice music with it, and everybody can be the hero, you know, in the personification of heroism. And this is why we've got, you know, soldiers, police force. They're very smart. Very smart. And here they are. In the first base in Europe, Switzerland, the first pharaonic base. Here we are again, a bit closer. You see how it is carved on top? It's a symbol of the circumcision. See? People just walk past it for, you know, the whole life and they don't understand it, they don't even see it. They think it's a pole for the lamp, a lamp post here. Yeah. Gotcha! So this is a fancy hotel, you know, for the rich. Still in tune, this is the Ara. And uh, look at the triangles here. Yeah. The other windows don't have it, so it doesn't make any constructional sense. It's pure, the pure sense is uh, symbolic, secret symbols. Yeah. And uh, so, and here on top as well. So, this is the first, one of the most seen symbols, like we are here. You know, it means we are here the Masonic Triangle, or Pharaonic. And we got the joining, as I showed you. The joining, actually, that's almost a G. Yeah. So the joining is the Acacia tree. And then we got the Sun Hieroglyphics. Personally, I like the Sun Hieroglyphics because nobody knows it. And, I mean, where are the pharaohs? Where are they? I mean, nice Switzerland, clean Switzerland. I mean, look at it. And what do we see on top here? Some more obelisks here, carved on top, you see, and another one. So, I mean, where are they? Old people are there. The Germanics are there, the Chinese, the Persians, the Celtic people, the, the, the Romans, the ancestors, you know, the, the Italians, uh, the Arabs, I mean, uh, the Hebrew people, uh, even the Maya, the Aztec, the language is still being spoken in uh, uh, in the Incas, in uh, like in Mexico. Where are they? Well, they are within us. They they are all over the pharaohs. They're not there anymore because the people who are living there now they're Arabs who came there after the Islamic conquest. But the pharaohs were already gone. They're within us. They're ruling the whole planet. All nations are being ruled by them. And if there are people like Carthaginian people, like in Libya, who want to have a revolutionary leader, okay, they give him Gaddafi. And he just talks like people want it. But he's not doing the same thing. He's a bloody dictator. And the same thing is in North Korea or in, uh, you know, the different makes out the, um, the different peoples. Like the French. They don't want to run like 100% with the system, so maybe they run 20%. So that's, that's why they get chaos. The Germans, they run 100%. So, you know, they got a lot of welfare, you know, a lot of uh, everything, you know. And the Swiss, they run 400% with the system, so they get everything. Very rich. The Romanians, you know, they don't want to run at all. Because they are the Dacia people, and the Dacia, they smashed two Roman legions. Amazing. They are like Kurdic people, or Chechenians, or Afghans. They even fight the system, so they get war and bloodshed. And the Kurdic people, they, they only mix in between each other, you know, like with each other. Only cousins and, you know, 
also the pharaohs they, they don't get it's not easy to get a Kurdish lady or Afghan because they mix with it with each other and so that's why they uh, divided Kurdistan like over Iraq and uh, Turkey, Iran, Syria, even Russia, you know, to um, to destroy, to, to smash up the people. Like banks still in tune, you see, it's a bank. And banks usually have the, uh, the sun hieroglyphics. So the next war, if you want to live through it, you better paint this next to your door, over your door. Then you're not going to be killed like you know, like in the Middle Ages, painted on your door. So here we got ISIS. We may, we may make a better shot, you know, close up, you know. Well, she doesn't look European, does she? If she's standing on the earth, it means the world domination. And here on the other side is like a bloody temple here, with the pillars, you know, and Freemasonry tri triangle. And here's another temple here. Yeah, and the aim. Oh, well, okay. There's ISIS. I mean, I mean, look at it here. Yeah. I mean, a European peasant girl, she wouldn't carry a bucket of milk like this. She would take it under her arm and look at the Cleopatra haircut and the nose and everything. This is pharaonic. You know, this is not European. Look at the dress. And it, it, this, this is a Nile dress. You know, this is Egypt, ancient Egypt, and the ball there. That means the earth domination. And the aim of these pharaohs is, has always been to play people out, to play peoples out against each other. You know, like in the first, the Second World War, the Germans lost 78 percent of their men. The uh, the Russians, 25 million people. So all the men were dead, so who takes the women, the country, the land, the cattle and the power? The enemy within, the third party or the third Reich. You know, one empire is fighting the other empire and the third empire, you know, the third Reich, the empire within, takes everything and this is how they do it. They always try to play people out like, like putting up a difference um in the color of skin ideology religion uh, this country as switzerland is the center the basis the al-qaeda of the pharaohs and their banks the finance adolf hitler and the rest the mercenaries with this country and their templars and their freemasons they they put europe on their knees they destroyed europe they are the enemy of Europe and they still don't want to be Europeans, you know. This can be definitely seen by their uh, unwillingness like entering the European market. Uh, there's ISIS here. There she is. Nobody sees it. Right? But the witches here know it. The witches of Switzerland. Here's everywhere the sun hieroglyphics. And actually when the Templars came here, and they founded this country. They called it Swiss from French. Because French because French was the world language at that moment. And uh, as English is now. And um, so they call it Swiss. And Swiss is an abbreviation for Suis, and that means Sir Disis. Sir Isis. Les Sir Disis. So the, uh, the Germanic population, the Alemannic population, the, uh, the uh, average Swiss, they call it, so after Swiss, they call it Schwiss. And Schwiss is an abbreviation as well, you know, and it means Schwiss, Schwester Isis, the Schwester der Isis. So this means the Sisters of Isis. So this is what it means, the name of this country. And actually, they call it like in English, Switzerland. They call it like Switzerland, they do. And uh, these Swiss witches, actually, you know, if there's a, is a foreigner here having a, a child with a Swiss witch here, 
he usually is gonna lose his child. He's never gonna see him again because they don't want a man, the male aspect, to have any influence on his son. So they can make um, another Swiss garden gnome. This is how they make Swiss people. You know. No male influence, no descendants, no, um, no father on son information. The symbol here, it's the acacia tree, and it means uh, the joining, like sticking together. In Washington you can see it as well, and all over. There it is again, the joining, the weird thing on top here, again. Uh, here's again, joining. Secret symbols, you know, to um, to make them understand. Well, they, this this belongs to them, definitely. The joining, and actually, the biggest biggest sacrificial festivities of the pharaohs. This day is being called Enkutatac still being celebrated in Ethiopia and by Freemasons. And guess what? Enkutatach is being celebrated on September 11. They did it. They're ruling the whole planet. I'll show you some more things. So, September 11, Enkutatach. Look it up in the internet. The most powerful, the most dangerous, it's called Lenuf Sir. There was a, uh, their name was on the shield here, but I wrote about it and I sent it to a lot of people and they took it out. You see, Lozhen, it means lodges. This is in Tolikoven, near Bern. The Druids, this lodge, Amorg, and here it was written, I still got a picture where it's written on it. They gave the Statue of Liberty to um, the United States. They, they, uh, so they're ruling the United States as well. They spent so much money, you know, to have it built in France and to have it sent over. And of course the Statue of Liberty is ISIS. No doubt, eh? And they put a big antenna here for cell phones, you know? And of course they don't give a damn if the children next door, if they can still sleep in the night. And of course they can't. And there, and there, these guys don't give a damn. You see, I asked them for help. And all, there's a, there's a, a letterbox here somewhere. Uh, there it is. And I asked them for help. All four lodges, none of them even replied. This is the kind of people they are, right? Yeah, so this is the Jewish cemetery in Bern in Wankdorf you see so let's go in and see let's see what surprises there are so first of all we got the grail it means our blood is here our pharaonic blood is here right and then as we look it's full of obelisks Freemasonry temple the triangle of the Freemasons more obelisks, more, more. It's full of it, more. This guy, he was a lawyer and a senator. Look, Conseil National, senator, here in Switzerland and Bern. High positions. Obelisks, it's full of it. Absolutely full of obelisks here. On this one here it says Auf Wiedersehen, see you again. This is a very special one here. Yeah. So again the obelisk is a phallic symbol and as it is carved on top it's a symbol of the circumcision because that comes from the pharaohs, the Jews, the Arabs, the Americans of course, they all have it from the pharaohs. The Americans can be considered as half Muslims now, as they're being circumcised, 97% of the men. This is really 
a pact with the devil. I mean, if you do believe in God, you should leave the body as he created it. And don't mess around with it. Don't butcher it, eh? There's a Freemason. Shake hands. Uh, it's a huge one, like in Washington DC. Absolutely huge. I must have spent a lot of money. Just, you know, Freemasonry. Freemason Lodge, the Triangle of the Freemasons, the joining here, from there to there. Mr. Bloch, you know, like Mr. Blocher. He's like the uh, the Swiss Hitler, Mr. Blocher. There's a pharaoh as well, another obelisk. Behind there is an obelisk. It's full of it. Absolutely full of it. More here. A white one, nice. So these guys here, they're not some poor sheep shepherds like you know it's being said in the Bible. These are pharaohs. These are pure pharaohs. And the Jews tell us we were 430 years prisoners with the pharaohs. They killed our children under four years. They killed our man, they put them into slavery. So why, for God's sake, they put the symbol of their enemy on top of their graves? They are lying. They are lying. You don't put the symbol of the enemy on top of your grave. These are pharaohs. And these people, how can they be so... Uh, a shepherd usually doesn't get so intelligent and doesn't have so much power. But these are pharaohs. Wow, it's big. Look. And more obelisks here. And more there. And more there. Pharaonic cemetery. But it doesn't mean all the Jews are pharaohs. There still are the Hebrew people. And the, Hebrew, the pharaohs are also ruling in Israel over the Hebrew people. It's my opinion. And it was only the Hebrews that got killed. You know, like, like during the Holocaust. And the pharaohs did it. I mean, Mr. Hitler, his grandfather was a pharaoh. A pharaonic. Jew, his name was Frankenberger. And it was supposed to be a Rothschild. There are rumors he was a Rothschild. And, um, yeah. The Freemasons and the Pharaohs, they had the idea to, um, uh, to murder all the, the Hebrew people because they were the, f the first victim. They were the first victims, remember, of the Pharaohs. 430 years prisoners. And uh, the Hebrew people, actually, before they were like an Arab trade tribe, the uh, the male, the the uh, patriarch, he was the the, um, the head of the family, like like Arabs. Um, and uh, the pharaonic system traditionally is a, is a female system, Cleopatra, uh, Cleopatra. And they have, uh, the, the women have so much power. In the antique, it was the only civilization where women, womanhood, and the sisters of Isis had so much power. Yeah. And because there were still a lot of Hebrew people, and they had a lot of uh, pharaonic genetics inside of them, but they were not initiated. So they were danger, and they r reproduced so, um, so largely, you know, in, in, in Poland and in Russia, there were millions of them. And they formed a danger because they, they had this genetic uh, super, superiority, uh, but they were not initiated. So the pharaohs finally had to do the uh, final solution you know, to get rid of them. And uh, the Germans, the warriors, a stupid warrior who doesn't really think, it just takes orders. Uh, they were just the workers, you know, like in, like in a beehive. They were just the workers who did it. But it was not the mind. They're too stupid. That was not the mind. Get out of here. The mind was pure pharaonic. Freemasons. The Second World War and Hitler, they were being financed uh, by America, by Henry Ford, by the Freemasons. Hey. So again, uh, not all the Jews are bad, I think. 
Uh, I don't think so. But uh, unfortunately, the uh, the Hebrew people, the, the good ones actually, they were all murdered by these pharaohs. Uh, most of them, and what was left, they went to Israel. So I think actually a Zionist is not a bad thing. A Zionist is somebody who's fed up with uh, with Europe. I mean, aren't we all? <laughs> and uh, he just wants to live in the Middle East, you know, next to uh, the Mount Zion. I mean, there's nothing wrong about that, is there? Uh, but apparently, the Arabs they uh, they're not too fond of the uh, of the idea. But what is worst? We should we should forget the word Zionist. We should just think pharaohs. They're the bad ones, eh? They're the baddies. And the pharaohs. They're ruling over Israel as well. Over the Hebrew people. They're ruling the whole world. So I suppose this part of the cemetery is the uh, pharaonic part. There are no stones. Like in Schindler's list, you know, there's no stones put here. Maybe that's because they're dead and gone and they're old and the, the relatives, you know, they're too old, there's nobody. The sons and daughters, the grandsons, they all already disappeared. So there's nobody left to put a stone on it. But there's place, you see, there's, well, maybe this is especially a, some place to put a stone on it. Yeah. But anyway, there's another part here where there's no obelisk. You see, they're behind here. So maybe that's the Hebrew part. Let's go and have a look. You see, that's the pharaonic part. If we look here, maybe we can call this the Hebrew part. Well, there's a little obelisk there, only a little one. Lots of stones here all over. But again, maybe that's only because this is new. Later, this is new. And uh, the sons and daughters are still alive. The awesome obelisk there, a little one. I mean, labor costs too much nowadays. Maybe in those times, like behind here, they still had a lot of money to do this. There's another obelisk. Freemasonry, a ball. So we rule the world. The joining here. There's the ball, symbol of the world domination. Definitely Freemasons. So even within the, let's say, the Hebrew part, there still are a lot of pharaohs here, apparently. There's another obelisk there. Yeah. So I don't know. It's probably all mixed pharaohs and Hebrews. Yeah. Full of obelisks, yeah. Well, at least these are no... Um, no just uh, biblical shepherds or their, their offspring. These, these are pharaohs. These are the true pharaohs, and they got all the power. Right, look at it, how big it is. Just look at the size of it. As in Washington DC, eh? They show that in every movie in Washington, or in, from Hollywood. Hollywood, which is pharaonic. It's the biggest, uh, the biggest enterprise in the world, the biggest business, Hollywood is. And they show the, uh, the um, uh, the Washington Monument, as they call it, the big obelisk, they show it in every film as a sign, as a symbol. That means we made the movie. We rule what we indoctrinate your children's minds, otherwise, we wouldn't have any more police force or soldiers in Iraq or in Afghanistan or in all those other war wars. If we couldn't present it as being so nice with some nice music when somebody gets a nine mil in front of his um, between his eyes in his front in his head you see with some nice music they show the big warrior he can finally get get rid of all his aggressions I mean this is the thing to do if you want to be a man you know but these are only soldiers there's a difference between a warrior and a soldier what I'm doing here that's warriors business I don't need a general to take up orders. I can, uh, I can make up my strategy myself. You see, I'm not a soldier. Get out of here. So, uh, mother, mothers, please make more warriors. 
So the pharaohs can, cannot take your children and make soldiers out of them and you'll lose them. See? Oh, here we got the Washington Monument again. <laughs> sort of. So this is the old part of the cemetery. There are three parts apparently. And, uh, oh, they do put stones here. Well, look at it. There are stones and uh, they left a space for it to put the stones. As here. This is the old part. And another one that's full of it. And actually, I think the Orthodox Jews are probably the priests of Amun from Egypt. But then again, within the Orthodox Jews as well, there are Pharaohs and there are Hebrews. They're not all bad. I don't think so. But the Pharaohs are. And the Pharaohs are the biggest enemy of the Hebrew people. They always were. And they always are. No. Even Hebrew soldiers are being sent to war, even if they don't want to. I remember there were special forces, and they were they were just sacrificed in a, in some sort of a. Um, they had to do some uh, with a, in, in a poisonous river. So even the pharaohs they sacrificed Hebrew people in Israel. Uh, so wake up people, do please wake up. Uh, there's some more obelisks in the old part here, full of it. Some more needles. Yeah. Some more needles. I remember the film about these, uh, what was it? About the, uh, the Jewish mob, a long film. One of them was called Needle. Needles. Well, here it is, the needle. Eh? So it was a, a once upon a time in the West or... Needles. So now we know what a needle is. He was a... Uh, uh, a kosher mos nostra. So this is where the Swiss uh, CIA is. There. There's the entrance there. They're really bad people. They killed a lot of people. Uh, by O2T torture, actually. They murder people here. See the fence there as well. Swiss flag, the Templars flag there. See, very, very dangerous. So this is the famous bear pit here in Bern. Where all the tourists go, you see, it's like a castle. But this is not important. What's important is this here, an obelisk. There, this is the joining on top here. The symbol of the world domination. And uh, this is the sun hieroglyphics. The most imp one of the most important symbols you see it everywhere and it's so um, it's so hidden it's so hidden you see it as well on American airplanes you know with the star in the middle and the two bars on each side that's the sun hieroglyphics and actually the German army you have the SS if you write ISIS in Pharaonic like in Hebrew or the Arabic you write only the uh, consonant. So if you write Isis, you get SS. And if you take the symbol of the SS, it's skull and bones. So under the uh, symbol of total um, pharaonic and Freemasonry symbolics, uh, the um, the SS murdered people all over Europe, and they got killed themselves. So SS skull and bones. See, SS is Isis. Good. Let's go and see further up. So this is the most important symbols. You see it a lot in American movies as well. This one here. Then the joining, very important. The world domination, of course the obelisk, and the triangle of the Pharaoh of the Freemasons. Well, you don't see it here. Okay. So this is still in Bern, Altenberg, and here's the river, the Aare next to it the obelisk with a grain on it that means our seed is here our descendants are here and still the same thing and as it is phallic it's a symbol of the uh, it's also the symbol of their way of warfare let's mix first and uh, then we conquer the people from the inside out like a virus like the enemy within you know and we have our secret lodges the freemasons 
Let's take for instance, like here in Bern or in Switzerland or in Europe, you see a white woman. Well, she's apparently one of the uh, one of the uh, witches, the sisters of Isis, and uh, she has a black dude, and the, they're gonna have a child, which is uh, it's going, the child is gonna be brown, like a uh, the offspring. The, uh, here in Switzerland, the father usually never sees his child anymore because he's going to be sent away, he's going to be extradited back to, uh, back to Africa, the poor guy. Uh, if it's a lady child, the brown one, she's gonna have... she's gonna have... Um, she's gonna look for another black dude at the train station, the railway station or the disco and um, they're gonna have a baby and the baby of the, um, will already be much blacker, much browner. The father is going to be sent away, the child is going to be risen in a black manner, as always. Three generations later, the offspring will be black as a Central African from Congo. But inside is what? Yeah, it's white, of course. And then they're going to put the white nigger, they're going to put him a... Um, uh, he's going to do some, some academic studies you know, at the university. And uh, then they're going to put him as a president, like uh, the president of Congo, Joseph Kabila. He's a white nigger. And all the black dudes think, oh, he's white. He's uh, one of us. He's a black dude. He's got our color. He speaks like us. But he isn't. And this is how the whiteies, they can rob Africa. And they can make wars so the petrol and the diamonds, they all get cheaper. And uh, kill everyone. And of course we know now, it's not the whites who have the power. They were just the soldiers, Germanic warriors like, whom the pharaohs could use so well, you know. So, um, <clears throat> and of course the same system, the same technique or strategy the pharaohs did in Europe as well. Like with the five generations and the, uh, and the mixing. That's why we have the obelisk everywhere, you know with our seeds here, see? Good. This church too, it's full of obelisks. What's an obelisk doing on a church? Well, that's, it's from the priest of Amun, Amun Ra. Bad ones. So, obelisks on a church, you know, the Vatican. The triangle of the Freemasons. And, uh, this bridge was built by Napoleon, who ruled like 20 years in Bern, in the upper class here in Bern, the capital of Switzerland. Uh, it comes from that time, they call it the Bernburger. Yeah, and Napoleon, he loved Egypt, as we know, right? So here we see the joining there, the triangle of the Freemasons. I counted the stones, there are 33, and the top stone is called the Keystone. As all the pictures in the newspapers, they're called Keystone. You know, very Masonic. They're insiders, like a virus. How do we get them out of here? There we got the uh, sun hieroglyphics, the house next next to the uh, to the bridge. Uh, let's have a closer look at the obelisk. Here's the house. On top of it, now well, this is here. The sun hieroglyphics. It's a real perverted symbol because it's so, so hidden. It's so, so hidden. There again, or there. And on top is the grail, that means our blood is here, we are here. Our grains are here, our blood is here. So this is the same bridge, and I was here in 2007, and about there underneath the guy jumped off the bridge. So smacked the floor and uh, it was such a bang it was like two cars hitting each other amazing and a metallic bang actually uh, and uh, yeah so here's the obelisk as, as on the cemetery when somebody died you know yeah. and then I went to this restaurant here which is called um, Aldenberg it's Turkish now and exactly there, this last table, there was the, uh, the, uh, the one of the seven presidents of uh, Switzerland. They got seven presidents here. Her name was Doris Leuthardt. 
as he was sitting just next to the, uh, the sun hieroglyphics here. She knew it. And I asked her, I said, you, your citizens are jumping off the bridge. And I said, well, I'm not interested. This is not my job. You know, very cold. And she was talking with a guy, I think he was from the safe house of the Mossad, which is just next to here, and I just read with the, uh, the obelisk on it. This is the safe house here. This is where they, you see the symbol, this is where they come when they... when they want to put out some uh, Arabs in Europe. And this is a, uh, a camera. And it can swing around. Probably will now. Yeah. All right. So there's the bridge with the obelisks. Yeah. And here is the uh, the Mossad safe house. It's just here. Here they just take it easy. A nice tree here. Now uh, watch some TV. And then they concentrate on putting out some tangos. Arabs. So there's the obelisks. In that street there's a safe house and here's a Turkish restaurant. Uh, the hitmen are surely just going to eat here. They've got all the protection of the Swiss state. Oh, you know. So if you just look around here, you know, you'll find them. Yeah. And then they go and swim in the river, you know. So Maybe somebody can do something back. So here we got a very big pharaonic temple. Very big. Next to the Vatican. Excuse me, I meant to say next to the embassy of the Vatican in Bern. Yeah. So here we got the joining. You see? The triangle of the Pharaoh of the Freemasons. There's Isis on top. With breast. Here we got the um, it's the devil, and this is the all-seeing eye, like on the dollar, in gold. It's so important they put it in gold. Here we got the sun hieroglyphics. It's all there. See, it's all there. And there are two obelisks next next to it. The world domination. The joining, again the world domination next to it here, and another obelisks with the world domination. Good. This is, um, yeah, and this is the uh, some old Egyptian pharaonic bird. And there, next to it is the garden of the embassy of the Vatican. So let's go and have a look. Here we've got the Vatican door. Yeah. With the big temple with the obelisks here. We said Schloss Hindelbank. We can have a look there as well. Uh, that's the embassy. A lot of loads of obelisks. Joachim and Boas. So there's a quick look of the garden of the uh, the embassy of the Vatican. Uh, there it is. You see the two keys of the Vatican. So here are the obelisks here. Now what's an obelisk doing here? Well, it's the priest of Amun, Amun Ra. This is Egypt. And these priests of Amun, they rape our children. And the Pope is the head of a child molester circle. A pedophile organization, he's the head of it. And it's all Egypt here. This is all Egypt, even the joining there behind it. There's the joining. Like in a Freemasonry temple, you see? All right. We better go because before the Inquisition and the cops come. They're usually sitting in their house there, with a machine pistol. And this is where the... Uh, and that's... Oh, okay, that's the Swedish embassy. There, at the embassy, there's the, uh, the grail. A fair running. That's our cedars here. 
and again some obelisks with the world domination and that's the flag of Canada same thing flag of Canada you see two obelisks oh, who's ruling here eh? <laughs> that's Belgium then we got the joining all over the top as well the triangle of the Freemasons and this means our seat well, through the tram you can see where the uh, where the bars are, where the prison is, is the Israeli embassy. I'm not going to get near her because you, cops and police are going to be crawling over you. This is where the temple oh, the Vatican has a lot of dough. You know, they have a lot of money and power. This is their garden. Jesus, it's big, eh? It's big. It's a castle. Yeah. I mean, criminals go well, eh? Child molesting pays off. Yes, yeah, the backside of the Canadian Embassy. Look at it. All the cars, all these symbols here, all pharaonic stuff here. That's the the the, uh, the joining Freemasons. On top here is the uh, the triangle of the Freemasons. And look at this here. And look at the big garden. I mean, there's all descendants of the pharaohs and key positions all over. They have a good life. See? And the Canadians are just there for sweating. They're waging war in Iraq or Afghanistan. Fuck, man. Uh, the backside of the, uh, the Belgium embassy. The Grail, two times. Our descendants are here. All right. This statue here is Lady Justice of, uh, of uh, Rome. The same lady was in Greece and her name was uh, Temis, Temis. And before she was in Egypt, in ancient Egypt. But the scales and the sword, the same, exactly the same thing. And her name was Ma'at. And the name Magistrate is coming from Ma'at, Ma, Me, Gistri, Eight. Ma'at. The beginning and the end is Ma'at of Magistrate. Yeah. So it's all the same thing, it's all Egypt. Blindfolded. Oh, we can see that. Huh? And here it says it's not the real one anymore. The independence. Um, here it says it was destroyed a couple of times by the independence movement of the uh, Bellier in the, uh, in the Jura. Wow. In fact, connected to the uh, some other liberation movements of the Basque and the uh, the Irish. So there was Ma'at, and here's another sort of temple. It's really full of it here, and there's the Sun hieroglyphics. That's mean buy your stuff here. We're also pharaonic, and. Uh, make a good business like together they even carved it in wood so in front of this uh, very old obelisk with a grain on it with the uh, joining uh, Mr. Blocher was living here Mr. Blocher he was uh, one of the seven Swiss presidents a couple of years ago and he uh, has to be considered as uh, the Swiss uh, Mr. Adolf Hitler uh, He's trying to put uh, the Swiss against the foreigners in a sort of a uh, hatred thing to put them up against each other. He doesn't really hate foreigners because most of his workers in his big factory are foreigners. He just wants to divide and rule. So here on the other side is the, uh, the big Freemasonry lodge where he went in all the time, you see? The lodge. So let's go and have a look. So and this is where he went eating all the time. You see the Templars Cross. Union, you see Union? Yeah, oh we know that guy. Hey mate. Yeah, so it says restaurant. Yeah. So and actually uh, these guys here they lent Mr. Blocher all the money so he could buy his first big factory, the Ems. And he could pay it back without any interest. Interest, on one condition, he should uh, go into the uh, 
on the on the highest level of Swiss politics and uh, represent the Freemasons there. So this guy is a traitor. Yeah. I even got a uh, a Peace Nobel Prize, this guy, uh, Freemason. It's unbelievable. So this is one Mr. Blocher's lodge in Burnis on the other side. Well, what more to say? What more to say? And that's the church with the obelisks. Switzerland is where the money is. And America is where the armies are. Here's again this uh, Napoleon's Bridge in Bern. Here's the all-seeing eye, the triangle of the, of the Freemasons. And the all-seeing eye. That's on the dollar. Obelisks on top. One, two. And this is everywhere. Isis. Isis. Sun hieroglyphics. Okay. In Bern. This is the main police station in the capital of Switzerland, Bern. You see, police. Two times a grail, one time a year. But this is where we came from. Four. This is the, uh, the, the Freemasonry Triangle. And in the middle is the all seeing eye, like on the dollar. And the chain has exactly 33 pieces. As are 33 degrees with the Freemasons. That's the world domination. So who's ruling here? The Swiss? The Europeans? No. The Swiss are only in people that run 400% with the system and betray their neighbor. So there it is again, the all-seeing eye. You see it's an eye. It's on the dollar. 33 pieces. Uh, it's clear. Swiss are only in people that hate foreigners, they hate about everybody. That's why the, the, the pharaohs like them so much. Because that's their system, divide and rule. So who's that? Isis. So this is again Isis all over. Oh, I haven't seen this before. Uh, the sun hieroglyphics, nice. Or like on the American airplanes, with the star in the middle. Yeah. So this is why. So this is the Justice Department in Bern, with ISIS two times, the Freemasonry triangle, and two obelisks. There's one. And here's the other one. So who's ruling here? The Europeans? No. But it's like a temple. Amtals. And there's everywhere the Freemasonry triangle. No. With underneath the sun hieroglyphics in another form. It's not round here. But later on it gets round. Never mind. So here they murder people. Like last year in 2010, they murdered Wolfgang Umfogel. He was an Austrian guy who wanted to sell. Uh, CDs with information about uh, um, uh, very rich, uh, like uh, Germans mostly, who uh, uh, he was a hero, you know, he wanted to uh, do something against tax evasion because tax evasion makes rich richer and poor poorer. The rich people they all come in Switzerland, you know, they, they rent a place, they don't even live there, and they um, so they don't pay any more taxes, they pay very low taxes. So at home they don't pay any more taxes and um, so the taxes have to be paid back home and they're all going to be on the uh, on the backs of poor people and poor poor people are getting poorer and rich people are getting richer is how it works and uh, Wolfgang Umfogel he wanted to do something against that and uh, they uh, arrested him and in two weeks time only they didn't say anybody who was here not his government, the Austrian government, not the embassy, not his parents. And they mur he was suicided in here within two weeks only. And the type of torture, what happens here is called O2T, O2 for oxygen and T for torture. And they put people in cells where there's not enough oxygen. 
and because of the lack of oxygen there will be a hypoxy which is a lack of oxygen in the human tissue so the uh, subject is being tortured in every cell of his body you see and uh, because of that there will be a glycolysis which will which is the uh, the organism starts burning up its own sugars and um, because of that there will be uh, lactic acids will be pro produced um, people get very depressive and this is the same thing happening with the famous waterboarding a guy get dipped under water or with a piece of uh, tissue on his head and when he comes out of the water he's gasping for air and he's going like <gasps> he never gets enough oxygen in his uh, organism to nourish the blood with so he's being tortured in every cell of his body and it is a human fact it is a medical fact where when a human being breathes in it's nine it's uh, uh, 80% of the oxygen that goes to the head first so if there's not enough oxygen you get serious problems in the head first you know that's where the information is so this is why O2T is so nice the CIA and the MI6 and all the lot they think it's so nice and this is why the geezers in uh, Guantanamo and the orange suits they all have this mask on their noses and we all ask ourselves why do they have these masks what for are they working on something you know no well like this they're being tortured in front of the cameras they can never get enough oxygen to nourish the blood with and this is happening here as well and this is how people are being tortured muslim people in uh in guantanamo and by the yanks and uh well of course switzerland and, and america well they all these two countries have very much in common that they are completely ruled by the pharaohs oh, really completely and this is how they work together. Switzerland has the money, the banks, it's safe, and we are also neutral, they say. <laughs> and the Americans, they kill people all over. They have the armies. Yeah. But the rich Americans, they all put their money in Switzerland. I bet you do. I bet they do. Well, rich people never paid any taxes, you know. I mean, look at the uh, nobility, the, uh, the upper class, and the, uh, the nobles, you know. They took the taxes, they never paid any taxes. You think Prince Charles ever paid, or his family, the Windsors, did they pay any taxes? No, they take taxes. They have a gay life. So this is the, this is the uh, Holy Ghost Church in front of the Bahnhof, the train station in Bern. You got the Triangle of the Freemasons, again there. The Grail, it means our blood is here. Even the joining on top of it. And the most important, there are four big obelisks. There's one, there's one, there's one behind, and there's one here. So what's an obelisk doing on the church? Now that's the priest of Amun. All religions, they're all coming from Egypt anyway. The, uh, the Muslims even say Egypt is the mother of Islam. It's all the same thing. They got uh, uh, Jewish actors in them, like Moses and Abraham, the Bible and the Quran. It's all the same thing. Only the Muslims are circumcised as the, uh, as the pharaohs are. But of course the Americans are all circumcised as well. As well. They're, all, they're almost true pharaohs. And if you see the army, their armies, their Roman armies, they all got they got no hair, they're all bald, cut, cut on the skin, like pharaohs are, and they're all circumcised. There's a big pharaonic army they have in Iraq and in uh, uh, everywhere in the world. So here we are in Hindelbank next to Bern is the devil with his horns there is an obelisk here with the grain on it and the obelisk stands for the god Osiris and the water for the goddess Isis and actually in Switzerland they have a, a, there are many 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 fathers who can't see their sons and this is also the pharaonic uh, idea of uh, Isis and the sisters of Isis because Isis, she had a, 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 her man, her husband was Osiris, and they had a child, was Horus. And then she, 
played the man against each other out. And Seth, a brother of Osiris, well not a brother in the, in the, in the fleshly sense, but a brother, a brother like man should be brothers. So she, she played man out against each other. And she hid Horus, the child, uh, at the river Nile. And she raised the child herself. So this is how the Isis and the sisters of Isis, they couldn't raise man new and again from scratch. By the way, after the uh, image, as the, uh, the witches and sisters of Isis and the witches of Europe and America wanted to make a man. So uh, man, after God's creation, was created new by the European witches. And this is what we see now. They're just garden gnomes. They say, okay, you go now and we'll feed you some Hollywood indoctrination. And you go now and kill some people in Iraq or in Afghanistan. These guys are no man anymore. All their fathers and all their ancestors, they, were, they died in all these wars, the First World War, the Second World War. Uh, they, never, uh, they never had their fathers actually who could tell them, okay, son, life is like this and like this. And uh, there was a cut in the middle. And um, this is the idea of, uh, like we can say, the devil or the or the shaitan or the dajjal or whatever. It's very bad. And Switzerland is the biggest base of the Sisters of Isis. That's why we see on churches a lot, we see IHS, which means Isis, Horus and Seth. Seth. So this is an ideology, see? Oh, what kind of a forest is this? Oh, we didn't come for that. We came for this. No comment. No commentary, excuse me. I'm speaking French too long. You see, this is almost like the layers or the foundations of a pyramid here. And this is the mayor's office of Hindelbank, yeah. And there it is, the obelisk. And the Freemasonry triangle. Let's have a closer look. Oh, well, there's the obelisk with a little pyramid on here. See, it's not enough. And the triangle, so they're three big pharaonic symbols on a key position. And there's the water. So it says in the Bible that the, uh, the beast, the revelations of John, the beast had seven heads and ten horns. Well, let me tell you this, Switzerland has seven presidents and they divide ten ministries, ministries among each other. So you see, and they finance every war. And those Swiss, you still got the Swiss guard, the Pope's guard, and the Sisters of Isis. And those Swiss, they wrote the Malias Malificana and they, they burned women all over Europe. And those Swiss mercenaries terrorizing the whole of Europe and the Ku Klux Klan. You know, the Ku Klux Klan is on a red underground with a white cross in there. Yeah. So, this is the center of evil, Switzerland. Yeah, that proves. And the bees had seven heads and ten horns. They have seven presidents who divide ten ministries. And another one. There's a very big concentration of pharaohs here in Hindelbank, Bern, Switzerland. And another one. Next to the uh, Vichy family that rules the whole, the whole town actually. And this one here is of uh, 1780 you see with the Templar's horse there was somebody sitting on top but they took it away probably two persons yeah. everywhere in this country everywhere now this all here 
This is the female prison of uh, Hindelbank. There's the entrance there, barbed wire, the whole lot. And this is the old castle, there they have the, uh, the offices probably. You see the sun hieroglyphics on the wooden panels next to the windows. The triangle, the Templar's cross on it. I'm not going nearer because you got all sort of police crawling on you, you know, if you go nearer. So, yeah, talking about, well, it's full of um, foreign women, a lot of South Americans. This is the Swiss female prison. Yeah. Well, Swiss banksters don't come in here, or Swiss criminals. They stay outside. And then here on the other side, this is the, uh, the mountains behind there. It's called the Jura. And Jura, like in Jurassic Park, Jura is an old Celtic word and it means the Black Forest. And it goes into the Black Forest all the way north there to into Germany. Ju is the word for forest, like in old French, la Joux. And ra, it means uh, black. And they found a lot of uh, fossils actually here and that's why they called the, uh, the period the uh, prehistoric period, they call it uh, Jurassic period and the name Jurassic Park of the film, the Spielberg film well it's all called after this mountain right here and in Scotland too they have the, uh, the Isle of uh, Jura it's all Celtic, means Black Forest so this is the famous Swiss Emmental where they where the chase is from well, it's just a little part of it, of course. And this is the big prison, a high security prison, in a castle again. Yeah. This part you never get out anymore. There's the... Uh, you've got a prison sentence here, more than five years, they can put you in here for life. And it's the uh, psychiatrist, which will... Uh, on whom it will depend if you get out or not. And this is the, uh, the other part of the prison. They put me in that cell there. I was in here. They put me almost a year in prisons here because I opened up my mouth. Because I'm filming. I'm not a criminal. My whole life I kept away of criminals and crime. I never did anything wrong. And they put me in here. This was a Freemasonry judge. His name is Vicari. Jean-Pierre Vicari from Bern. He's part of the Freemasonry Lodge. Le Neuf Sir, most dangerous in the world. And uh, it's a weird name, Vicari. I mean, what does it mean? Well, the name Vicari is not Swiss, it's not German, it's not French, it's not even Italian. It's from the Vicari Forane. They were the judges in the Middle Ages that gave the order to burn the women and to torture them from the Inquisition. So this guy is still around and he's still doing the same job, in the same line. They never change. The Vicari Foranei. Still the same. And they... They're the ones that won. So they're still around, you see. And all the other people died around. And he's still doing these miserable things he's doing, this Vicari. Hundreds of years, the descendants of the Vicari Foranai, and he's still there. This house here, they really wanted to make sure everybody understood it. The triangle of the Freemasons, this is an Oberberg in Canton Bern. You see, on this side, they don't have it. Huh? It's just a symbol. The sun hieroglyphics, it's all over. There and there. And there, uh, and again, you see in the middle they have the triangle, on the other side they don't have it, so it's not for construction, uh, constructive uh, interest or something. Yeah, and I wanted to tell you about the, uh, the Ku Klux Klan. They're also from Switzerland, I mean, these, we all seen the, uh, the black sheep uh, pictures, it was all over the world. They have three white sheep kicking a black one. You know, the, uh, the, the drawing of it. 
these people have a lot of hatred. And when they emigrated to the United States, they formed the Ku Klux Klan. And the Swiss, they have officially in the parliament the KKK. Like the French have Liberté, Fraternité, Égalité. The, the Swiss, they have uh, the KKK. That means consens, concordance, compromise. That makes KKK. And the symbol of the Ku Klux Klan is a red underground with a, uh, with a white cross in it. And the... Uh, so what does it mean, the Ku Klux Klan? Ku is from the German, it's not English and it's not Latin either. Ku is from the German word Ku, a cow, they took the H away. Kla, uh, Klux is from the German word Glocke, or the, uh, the meaning the bells. They just Englified it, so, you know, and, uh, so it matches into KKK as well. And the clan, yeah, we understand it, it's a tribe. So what is this cowbells tribe? Well, you know, in Switzerland, every cow has a bell around her neck, which is really Machiavellic and total control. The farmer knows at any moment, where's my damn cow and what is she doing? In other words, where's the damn nigger and what is she doing? Excuse me my lingo, because I don't think like this. Um, yeah, so they definitely are from Switzerland. They have a long tradition of hating people. They hate the Europeans, they hate everybody. And they're so smart with their banking system and everything. And, um, yeah, well, most Swiss and Germans who emigrated to the U.S., they went to the southern states. That's why the Americans, they had a civil war. <laughs> like the First World War and the Second World War. The English with the Germans, you know, it's all the same thing. And the Swiss, they have more power in the, in the U.S. than the other way around. And uh, look at the American Legion as well, you know, they have the, the Templars cross in it as well. Yeah. Alright, oh, well look at it, the pyramid and the sun hieroglyphics, Schindler. It's in all the, uh, the enterprises they show whether they, uh, if they're pharaonic or not.